Senator Wilikowski. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I think many Alaskans ap appreciate the position that you've taken, the, the aggressive stance that you've taken to protect our, our waterways. And when it's regarding the federal government, and I, I'm just curious, does the department take the same aggressive position when landowners are blocking access to um, recreational act areas, for example, the Chugach State Park or, or Campbell Lake, for example? Does the department, is the department filing lawsuits in those cases? And if not, why not? Through the chairs, Senator Wilikowski, I think the short answer to your question is yes, we do. When there are efforts to impede the public's ability to use the flowing waters or to otherwise um, uh, exercise the rights that they have pursuant to the public trust doctrine and otherwise uh, to use the submerged lands and flowing waters, I think the general answer is yes. Um, as you brought up the example of Campbell Lake, um, with Campbell Lake, it is a bit of a confused situation. Uh, there was a lot of misunderstandings by a lot of the landowners who purchased their property along the lake. Um, I think that those are good faith misunderstandings. Um, and further, there is a question as to the extent of the state's submerged land ownership. For example, Campbell Lake, as we know, was formed by a dam, right? It dammed up Campbell Creek. We believe that Campbell Creek itself was a navigable, in fact, waterway at the date of statehood. So the state would own the submerged lands from the ordinary high water mark on the left bank to the ordinary high water mark on the right bank. But that is largely underneath <clears throat> the, the now uh, 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 pooled waters of Campbell Lake. So yes, we own some submerged lands down there. But most of the usage of Campbell Lake, no one's interested in the submerged lands. They want to use the flowing waters, right? And I think that we have very affirmatively as a department, along working with the municipality, said that the public has a right absolutely to use the flowing waters or, or the, 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 the surface waters of Campbell Lake. Further, we have identified the section line easements and the other public access easement that provide um, access to the waters. And I'm advised that yesterday um, in house finance, they appropriated $10,000 for the Alaska Department of Natural Resources to sign those access points to inform the public of how they get to the waters of Campbell Lake to enjoy those waters. So the facts are a bit different, um, you, know, even, you know, as opposed to some of these more clear cut disputes that we have with the federal government. But in terms of advocating for the public's right to enjoy the flowing waters of Campbell Lake, we have done that. And we have done that on numerous other rivers statewide where individuals have tried to block access or otherwise pre present uh, prevent the citizenry from doing what they would like to with the flowing waters of this river, that river, this lake, that lake. 